Hi everybody, um, and this is just going to be a quick video about how to access Canvas as a student. So I first want to go over how to access Canvas if you download the app onto your phone. So what you see on the screen right now, if you were to go to the App Store on your cell phone, this is the app that you would want to download, Canvas Student. It is free. Make sure you are getting Canvas Student, not Canvas Teacher. So you're going to download Canvas Student onto your phone. Once it has downloaded fully and you're able to open it, the first screen you're going to see on your phone is this one here. It's going to ask you what your school name is. You are actually going to need to type Prince William County Schools. Don't par um, type Parkside, but count um, Prince William County Public Schools, excuse me. That, you're going to make sure you click this one here. That's going to take you here to pwcs.instructure.com. This is going to be the next screen on your phone. You're going to sign in with your Microsoft 365 credentials. So you're going to put in your username and password from school. So that's going to be your school email with at pwcs-edu.org at the end. And then it's going to ask you for your password as well. So you do need to know your um, school email and password to be able to get into this. Once you've logged in, this will take you to this home page. Okay, it's going to take you to your home page and it's going to list your courses. Right now, this student only has one course, only one teacher has um, published the class. You may have one class, you may have five or six of your classes, it depends on how many of your teachers have gotten their pages up and running. But all you're going to do is click on the class and you'll be able to. Um, see all of the information that's going to go in that class. All right, so that's how you do this on your phone. Now, if you are going to access Canvas through your 365 or on a computer, you can do it two ways. You can either log into your 365 and go up to the waffle here in the corner and choose Canvas. When you first try to look for Canvas, it is probably not going to be here. Mine's here because I've used it before. You're probably going to need to click on all apps and then scroll down until you find it. And all you're going to do then is click on Canvas and it will ask you to log in the same way. Now the other way to log in is just go directly to this website without going to 365 and clicking on the waffle. You can just open your computer, get to the internet and type pwcs.instructure.com log in the same way using your school um, email and password. So when you get in, again, you're gonna see your classes. These are my classes. So I have all the classes that I teach listed because obviously I'm a teacher, not a student. So same thing, I've got my classes. You're just gonna choose a class, whichever class is a student you wanna look at, and you just click on your course card and it'll take you into that class. Let me click over to student view so you can see what this would look like for my, a student that's in my P1 class. So this is going to be that main home page and it shows, you know, it's got a message from me. So always look at this page for your teachers because they probably are giving you important information. Over on the right hand side, my students can see their to do list for my class. So all the assignments that are coming up, it lists what the uh, due date is. You could also click on the view course calendar and see what's due and when. Over on the left, you have home pages, or sorry, modules, pages, discussions, grades, Office 365. It does link to your 365, so you can pull documents from there. When you click on modules, my students can see all the assignments that are coming up for this week. Now, right now, I can't click on any of these because they're not available yet. They're not going to become available until the week that the students are supposed to do them. But all they're going to do, all you're going to do as a student is once it's open and available, you click on it and it'll take you directly to that assignment. So let me show you what it would look like if the assignment was open because I do have an assignment in my creative writing class that's available. So just to give you another idea of how this works, you can click on modules and you can see this first assignment is available. These aren't available yet because the way it's set up is I have to do this one before I can do the next few. So click on it and it's going to open the assignment for you on your computer. 
I'm going to read all of this, and my students have to answer this question. Up in the top right, it shows where I can submit the assignment. So as a student, I would click on Submit Assignment, and in this box, I'm just going to type my answer, right? Type all the answer that I need to type. Maybe if I have a little message for my teacher, like, I had a really hard time with this. You can leave a little comment for your teacher and then you simply submit the assignment. When you submit an assignment, your computer's gonna have a little party for you and celebrate that you finished your work and that's gonna be it. You can also resubmit the assignment if you messed up or you submit it too soon, whatever that might be. Okay, uh, grades. Right now when you go to grades, you're gonna see there's nothing there. Nobody's graded anything, but this is where you could go and see the grades as things come up. Discussions, you go in there. If your teacher hasn't assigned any question um, discussions, there may just be a um, class question board, which you could always click on and ask a question and it'll notify your teacher. Um, so that's basically how that works. You're always gonna see on your main page um, all of your to-do lists, everything that's due, coming up, and that's really it. Remember when you are looking at your dashboard, that's gonna give you all of your classes. Oh, last thing I wanted to go over. If you click on account at the top, so if you go into account <clears throat> um, and go into settings, this is how you will be able to set up your account and make it more individualized for yourself. So under settings, you're going to want to change your profile picture. Um, make sure it's a picture of you. This is for school. This helps your teachers as well, especially if we're, you're gonna be using this in high school. So have those picture, that picture up there, make sure it's appropriate. This is school, guys, don't forget that. So try to avoid the cartoons and things like that. Put an actual picture of yourself. Um, also in settings, if you go to notifications, you can set up how and when you get notified for assignments, due dates, um, when someone makes a comment on something, adds to the discussion that you're in, a teacher posts a new quiz, or posts your grades, or gives you feedback on an assessment. So there's a whole bunch of different notification settings. You can also add a personal email so that notifications go to your personal email. You can also add a cell phone number so that you get a text about um, new assignments. I do recommend if you have a cell phone that you go ahead and download the app. It's really easy to go through and it gives you the ability to do a lot of your work on your cell phone or on a tablet um, if you can't always have access to a computer or if you just don't have access to a computer. So that is going to be it for the video. Download the app if you can. Go ahead and get logged in either through the waffle or pwcs.instructure.com. Start playing around with it. Look at your classes. See what's already uploaded, what's not. Look at your upcoming assignments. Put that new profile picture. Set up your notifications. Kind of play around with it a little bit to see what questions you have. You're going to need to start using this next week for your classes, and you're going to be using it in high school, so now is the time to get comfortable. Again, email me with any questions, and I will do my best to answer your question or find the answer to your question. Good luck. Have a great day.